This is the Big Island Video News Daily Update filed for Aloha Friday, July 13, 2012. I'm Stephanie Salazar. Big Island police have charged a 20-year-old Pahoa man in connection with an incident that occurred in Keaau last month. Sepeti Alamti Tuaefe, also known as Joe Tuaefe, was charged with first-degree burglary after an alleged burglary of a home on 14th Avenue in Hawaiian Paradise Park that occurred on June 27th. Police received a 2 a.m. report of several men breaking into a house and assaulting a 19-year-old Keaau man. The victim sustained minor injuries and declined treatment at the scene. Tua F.A. and others allegedly fled the scene prior to the arrival of the police, who issued an all-points bulletin. Tua F.A. was arrested Wednesday morning at 6.45 a.m. After conferring with the county prosecutor's office, he was charged for the offense. Detectives from Area 1 Criminal Investigation Section continue to work on identifying the other individuals allegedly involved in this incident. The Office of Mauna Kea Management, charged with day-to-day -day management of the Mauna Kea Science Reserve, has announced the hiring of its first Natural Resources Program Manager. The hiring marks an important milestone in the Office of Mauna Kea Management's efforts to fulfill its long-term commitment to preserve and protect the rare and often fragile natural resources found within the Mauna Kea Science Reserve. Fritz Klassner, who earned his Master's of Science degree in Geography from Oregon State University and moved to Oahu in the late 1990s, is no stranger to the Big Island. He's worked as an ecologist with the Pacific Islands Inventory and Monitoring Program at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park prior to this assignment. <music> The office of the county clerk held a news conference on Thursday in order to assure the public that the county is ready for the 2012 elections. With the August 11th primary just a few weeks away, county clerk Jame Kawauchi, who also oversees the elections division, did most of the speaking at the event before an audience of media and candidates alike. High-tech voting apparatus were demonstrated. Scroll down to all the different parties and then you can push enter to get into an area that you want to vote and push enter. Kawauchi outlined the many challenges the office has overcome this year, the biggest being the reapportionment process, which redrew political lines and changed maps. As most of you probably know at this point, the result of the State Reapportionment Commission's work was an extra Senate seat for the, for the island of Hawaii. So the big change this year for us from reapportionment is the addition of a fourth seat. In addition to that, some boundary lines were changed, um, but the bigger change, of course, for us is extra representation at the state level. We maintain the same number of House seats, so we still have seven House seats. Um, for us, it's the, it's the uh, challenge of making sure that the voters are informed of that change and they understand what it means. Lawsuits and litigation delayed the final approval of the maps, creating an extra burden on county election staff. Ordinarily, had we not had challenges to state reapportionment plan, that process would have begun in January. For us, it started May 30th, and the actual work did not begin until June 5th. Another first this year, permanent absentee voting applications sent to every registered voter on the island. In 2010, we had 6,400 people, persons on the island registered to vote by permanent absentee. We are now, as of yesterday's count, at 17,000 persons registered to vote by permanent absentee. The office is still trying to get the word out on election precincts, another area where there has been a shakeup this year. This year we have uh, 40 precincts on the island. Three of them, pursuant to a new state law that was passed this year, will be virtual precincts. What I mean by that is voters who are registered to vote and live in areas where precincts, their precinct areas, 500 persons or less, no longer have a polling place to go to. They must vote by mail or they must vote by walk-in. On top of all the challenges, Kawauchi wanted to share the story, as she put it, of recent youth involvement with the clerk's office. 
positive tales of young leaders learning the lawmaking process. And what we do with the high school students is we um, talk to the 16 to 18 year olds and we discuss with them um, voting. We discuss with them the importance of registering to vote. But one story that did not get told on Thursday the story of returning election program administrator Pat Nakamoto. Nakamoto, a longtime county employee, was fired in January after a legislative office investigation under the direction of County Council Chair Dominic Yagong and Kawauchi uncovered alleged misbehavior at this 2,000 square foot warehouse located at 210 Makaala Street, a leased county building that's supposed to store voting equipment. The alleged misbehavior included post-election parties with alcohol and private commercial use of the county building. Three other election employees were terminated because of the findings. Hilo attorney Ted Hong was hired by Nakamoto and others to fight for their reinstatement. My client's professional personal reputations and standing in the community have been ruined. Meanwhile, Yagong tried to reassure the public that the elections division would be ready for the primary. So I'm just wondering how in the next four months yeah, you're well, going to make sure that those elections occur well, on thank schedule. You. Thank you. Good question. Um, just to let you know, all the positions have been filled. Um, every single position in, in regards to the four election workers has been filled, uh, whether it be an election warehouse, whether it be the administrator of the election, whether it be the people, the other two people that also also um, release. All those positions have been filled. We are running full staff right now, um, and we absolutely see no problem whatsoever in terms of um, being able to conduct the elections um, as needed. And when we, when we, of course, we didn't plan to, to terminate employees, um, you know, out in, uh, you know, in the elections office. That's never something that you plan. According to a recent article in West Hawaii Today, the County Human Resources Department reinstated Nakamoto based on the rules governing the union grievance process. It is unclear how or when Nakamoto will return to work or in what capacity. But we did ask Kawauchi directly when Nakamoto would be back to work and her only response was that she could not tell us. There is some speculation that Nakamoto may not return to work until after the election. On Thursday, Kawauchi introduced Nakamoto's temporary replacement. Uh, Arlene Botello is right there. Arlene Botello is our acting program election, acting elections program administrator, and she will be introducing her staff. Arlene Botello introduced the rest of the hardworking staff of the elections division, who were given a round of applause for their efforts in overcoming the many challenges of election year 2012. Although some of the hardest work the actual primary and general election day is still ahead.